Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Radek Krin, and I'm from the Faculty of Forestry and Wood Sciences. Uh, as we are one part of the Czech University of Life Sciences in Prague. Uh, because uh, in, in the official way, the, 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 the member is not the faculty, but uh, the university. So you can see how uh, which, which other fields are covered in our university. Uh, we are one of uh, seven parts of the of the university. Um, you can see that uh, other fields are uh, agrobiology, environmental sciences, tropical agri-sciences, etc, etc. Uh, but uh, in fact, uh, our faculty covers topics of forestry and wood sciences. We have eight departments including uh, one strong department which is focused on wood sciences. The department is called Department of Wood Processing and Biomaterials. Uh, the faculty in total has around 190 employees. I would say that 75% of uh, these employees are academic staff. It means that uh, 150, around 150 employees um, uh, give, give lessons to our students and also do, re do research in forestry or, or wood technology or wood sciences. Uh, there are written some parts, uh, topics which we which we do uh, in in the part of wood processing. You can see that uh, we uh, we look into wood-based materials properties and their utilization, uh, thermally modified wood. Uh, we check technical and technological parameters of wood, machinery construction and maintenance of wood cut tools. Uh, our our uh, let's say teaching programs covers also design and production technology of wooden products. Uh, and uh, news in log logging and transport technologies, impact on forest ecosystems, harvesting technology, skyline lodging systems, and forest roads. As I said, uh, we are not only uh, faculty of wood sciences, but also forestry. So uh, you can find here all disciplines which are connected with forestry from forest genetics, uh, physiology, entomology, forest entomology, forest ecology, forest management, forest protection, uh, forest economics. Uh, I think that we are, we are quite strong in forest management, forest genetics and, and ecology, and of, of course in, in the others too, but uh, especially in this which I mentioned, uh, I think we are quite strong because uh, we, we don't have only uh, good stuff for teaching, but also good equipment for for measurements uh, in, in laboratories or out, outside. So um, we are quite, quite strong in these areas. Uh, if I can go into details in, in wood technology or wood sciences, uh, here on the, on, on the slide you can see which capabilities our laboratories do have. Uh, behind this we have also we have also uh, let's say the manufacturer uh, for uh, for our students. We have new laboratory uh, for testing of fire properties. Uh, we have a lot of microscopes. I can mention a Raman microscopy. Uh, some instrumental techniques like uh, like tear. We have uh, thermo chamber, UA chamber. Uh, we can do tests of modification of materials, etc., etc. Beside that, in in the forestry part, uh, we are quite also strong in remote sensing. Uh, we have a big flotile of drones, 
uh, UAV, we have CT scanner for, for game management, for example, uh, for mammals, etc. Uh, let's say last four years were quite uh, good for us because we could uh, we could use uh, European research uh, research money for building our new equipment. Uh, not only buildings, but uh, as I already mentioned, also uh, laboratories. Uh, here you can see uh, two new buildings of our faculty. It, it's equipped especially for scientific purposes, but also for teaching. Um, in general, we have uh, studying programs, uh, four studying programs, bachelor's or master in, in wood technology, and uh, one doctoral study programs in, uh, in, in wood technology. Uh, last year, we opened one new uh, studying program, uh, which is uh, focused on uh, wooden construction. Uh, like uh, housing and, and other buildings uh, from wood. It is only master studying program, not bachelor. And um, we, we hope that in a few years, we will be also very, very strong in this part of uh, wood technology and wood science. Here you can see publishing activities uh, of our faculty. Um, it can be seen that uh, in last Five years, there is quite good tendency. Um, you can see the the orange column uh, where there there are publications uh, with impact factor uh, according to ICE quartiles. Uh, the the majority is uh, let's say focusing in top ten or first or second quartile. It's around seventy, yeah, more than sixty percent. Uh, so uh, if you compare it with the number of academic staff, which I mentioned is around 150, uh, the tendency is, uh, is quite good. Uh, now I'm, I'm not able to say which, which uh, part of these publications can be uh, put into area forestry and which one into wood sciences, because our research teams are uh, very often very often combined and they, uh, they work together. So it's not possible to separate uh, separate uh, these publications. Uh, we are working. We are doing some uh, some interesting projects, uh, which I would like to mention. First is uh, Eva 4.0 strategic project, which is uh, covering many areas of forestry and wood sciences. Uh, this project is funded from uh, not from H2020, but it's from structural structural funds of the European Union. So the the donator here in the Czech Republic is the Ministry of Education. Uh, the the budget is uh, more than 12, 12 million Czech uh, sorry 12 million euro uh, for uh, five years. And the uh, first two program of this project are connected more with forest biology or forestry, new, new trends in forestry. So by the way, I will pass uh, the presentation of, uh, of Arno to, to my colleagues from program two, because I, I can see some, uh, some uh, links between these two, two uh, activities. And program number three is uh, connected with uh, wood technology, uh, with uh, wood science, uh, and it's called called uh, new new bio-based materials and technologies with respect to global change trends and the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, moreover, we have also uh, other, let's say, internal or uh, yeah, internal projects which are financed by the Czech government. The first month, the first one is called Development of Gluing Systems for Deciduous Oak Wood for Structural and Non-Structural Applications in Exterior. Um, the aim of this project is to develop uh, new types of adhesive as well as surface modification, surface treatment of wood, uh, oak wood to achieve the best variant of oak wood gluing system. 
so that's that's one possibility and the, and the second project uh, is uh, influences of uh, methyl xanthine based uh, biocides on the properties of wood for construction purposes uh, which, uh, which focus on the research of the influence of coating systems containing natural uh, biocidal substances uh, from the group of metal sometimes on the properties of wood for construction purposes. Uh, in both these projects, uh, we cooperate a lot with, uh, with uh, two or three Czech companies, uh, which after uh, when we finish the, the research, they will, they will use uh, the outcomes in their own uh, business. So this is the cooperation with, uh, uh, with Praxis for us, which is uh, very important, not only for our researchers, but, but also for our students. Uh, we are also checking uh, upcoming R&D projects, especially Green Deal call. Uh, in the area of uh, of uh, wood sciences, we are uh, trying to um, let's say add our knowledge in wood recycling and material utilization of recycled wood in the form of multi-stage cascade as a solution to future wood sh shortage. We are now in the process of uh, uh, discussion with some uh, consortiums. Uh, or with other partners and uh, we are now th thinking if we should prepare a project which main topic should be wood or if we can be a part of a project uh, which will uh, let's say have wood only as as a minor part of uh, of other materials because because green deal coal uh, looks like uh, a call where not so many projects will be supported so now we are uh, thinking about the best strategy, how to how to increase our chances to to be uh, to be financed. So if you feel uh, that we can we can do some cooperation together, uh, feel free to contact me. And the second uh, second project which, where we are working on is is a project Resonate, which is uh, more connected with uh, forest value value change. And of course the others, but I didn't have time to to put there all, all the international projects we are uh, working on right now.